Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Guess what? Uh, most of the time we're making beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces of videos. This one's uncut. And in today's uncut, you can thank Mr. Uh, Dave Kaufman for getting me to pick up my camera because yeah. we got we, we're here at the Pomona Reptile Super Show and we've got about 12 minutes left in the hang show. On, I on. didn't even get a chance to leave the uh, booth because I was very focused on exactly 12 minutes. Oh, exactly 12 minutes! Wow, I nailed it. Yeah, I, I I honestly didn't think that I was gonna. I didn't leave the booth the entire show, and luckily Dave's been out filming a bunch, so he can kind of beeline us quickly to what we maybe missed at the show. All right, so we got a, we got 12 minutes to show you guys everything that's at this expo. This is one of the biggest expos in the West Coast. It is the biggest expo in California, in Los Angeles. There is no other expo that is bigger outside of Los Angeles, but within the greater Southern California. Holy crap, there's no other expo bigger on the West Coast, <laughs> period. I don't think there's even a bigger expo, like, size-wise, in the States, right? I, Tin Lee comes close, but no, seriously. This is the one of the biggest expos in the United States. We have 12 minutes to show you everything. Everything. Okay, quick, let's go check out. We got, we got Josh over here at Ball Python Shed. He's trying to pack up, just like everybody else at the show. Yeah, but we get, Josh, what you, what's, up? what's the best thing that you didn't sell, Josh? Pipe, uh, pipe, pipe. Didn't sell? Right here. The banana, red stripe, pastel, yellow belly clown, female major male. Say, wait, you got, you got, can you pick that up and then say that one more time? Okay, so that's a <laughs> banana. Can you come out a little bit? It's, yeah, all, yeah. it's all bright in there. Banana, red stripe, pastel, yellow belly, female maker, male clown. Now, why, is, why on earth do you think amazing. that didn't sell? Um, just a little bit high end, you know, for, for the sale here, I guess. You know, I mean, I had a few people look at it, but I just don't think the money was quite right, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And it is... I don't even know if the price is right. I mean, I'm just throwing a price on it I'm happy with. You know what I mean? Right, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. So, I got you. Yeah. Thanks that for taking is, time. I know you're breaking down, but it's, you. good, yeah, it's good yeah. to see you out here, bro. Yeah, man. Thank you. It's a good man right there. If you guys missed his episode of Triple B TV, I'll put a link for that down in the description so you go check it out. Jo Josh is a great dude. All right, that um, was a pretty amazing snake. Also, we got to shout out Bomb Projects over Let's here. Do it. Let's do it. Hi. All right. Bomb oh, Projects. No, no. Bomb Projects. What's happening, guys? Tell, tell everybody uh, what, what's going on with Bomb Projects. What can you expect from Bomb Projects? Uh, you can expect bombs. You don't have a project till you put a bomb in it. <laughs> these, <laughs> these guys literally saved the show for me. That's why you No, got... not true. Not true, guys. Okay. Not well, this video wouldn't have happened if modest. it wasn't for bombs. He's being modest. No <laughs> well, doubt. Well, well, we well I promise you. <laughs> him. That's the reason why we have the show. Don't forget that, people. The nicest person in the industry next to Dave. <laughs> yeah, when well you put me next to Dave, I look pretty right. nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, good stuff, good stuff. It was a great show. Yeah, I appreciate what you guys do for the industry. Right and on. the reason I'm breathing, so right on. Yeah, I owe it all to you right guys. On. Yeah. Oh, dang. Without I, a doubt, without a doubt. Yeah, I'm for glad sure. I have something to do with you, you know, breeding. No, absolutely. <laughs> Late nights. <laughs> oh, my God. One down right. rabbit hole. Well, we're trying we, to we keep nine this minutes left. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we're trying, trying to keep this PG. All right, all right. I thought let's, you said I was check out. this video was happening. Right? No, yeah, no. Let's, oh, let's check out. Um, uh, over here. Oh, what about all those barrels up on top of that thing? That's pretty good. Roll out the barrel and have uh, so forth and so forth. All right. What do we got over here? Barrels. We have a wide assortment of bull pythons. You guys got a lot of snakes over here. We have all the weird shit. So I see more Fevolution sign. I don't see any Brian Fontaine. Uh, He's out looking. He's always out looking. He's never working. He just wanders around. Never working. He's always you guys got looking. a favorite thing on the table that didn't sell? Um, yeah, cheese and shed. Mm. Cheese and shed? Of course she is. Well, we always need, we need to have at least one video with it. Well, we need to have we need to have at least one snake and shed on the video. So look at this. Look at this blackhead arroyo fire calico. Oh. That is a hot snake. Oh, well, let's look at that one. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> look at that. 
So that's a Blackhead Fire Arroyo Calico. Almost get like a fake pie looking on the belly too. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Nah. Wow. And well, I mean, that's why it didn't sell. <laughs> for, for any of you guys that ever come to a show and you're wondering, what on earth does NFS mean? Now, a lot of industry folks definitely know what that means, but if you're, is it, it's your first time at a reptile show and you see that down there and you're like, I don't know, I don't want to talk to anybody about what that might mean. It means... It means no. not free, sucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yet again, Dave wins the internet. All right, all right, here we go. This is why we keep him around. Seven, <laughs> seven minutes left. Let's keep going. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm coughing on stuff. Yeah, for me, guys, I always say that I was pretty low energy. I was a little disappointed in myself for being low energy at the show most of the time. Um, only got a handful of Triple B TV interviews in, but I mean, I gotta say, it, it was real rough coming in. Uh, some other things happened. We'll talk about it on the Searchables Reptiles podcast. If you guys are not subscribed to Searchables Reptiles podcast with myself and Garrett Hartle, we will be, uh, we were supposed to record it at the show, didn't happen. We'll talk about why when we actually record it, which will be coming right up, and then uh, you guys will see it there. But what, what's happening, Dave? Look at this, look at this. Can I reach my hand in there? Look at this. Blue iguana. Come a little closer. So the reason why these green iguanas are blue is that these are actually azanthic. And so when you have an azanthic green iguana, they get blue like this. How cool is that? Uh, it's as cool as blue. It's as cool as a blue green iguana. Because right. blue is cooler because it doesn't have, it blue is cooler than green because it doesn't have the yellow because yellow is warm. True, true. That's why true. it's cool. Absolutely. That's why cool. it's cool. cool. Okay. That's cool. That's well, cool. that was a cool log. Look at that log. That's a very cool log. It's fuzzy like we are. Sorry. You're good. We've had a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we got, whoa. Oh, dude. What is your favorite bug of all time? Favorite bug of all time. Wow, that's a hard one. I'd say the Fain Death Beetle. Wait, say again? Fain Death Beetle. Oh, the Fain Death, Death Beetle. Okay, well, right. how about an easier question? Answer. What's your favorite bug that's right here that you can show us on camera? Mm, let's see what I've got. Okay, but we've got... Uh... If you have to think about it, it's not your favorite. No, I'm looking for it because it got moved. Oh, favorite. Yeah. Favorite tarantula. Look at that. Now that's uh, definitely gorgeous. Um, is it? Is it a looks thing? It's more of a looks thing than a handle thing. Yeah, uh, that doesn't. I mean, just looking at it. Not that I'm super comfortable with tarantulas. I have handled a few. Um, that doesn't look like one that I would generally do this with. Yeah. Yeah, you Green make that. Blue. You make that look real easy. Well, you know, I know a lot about tarantulas, and that, I believe, is a green bottle blue. I would not recommend handling this species. Yeah, just just to be clear, um, this man, I, I consider to be an expert tarantula handler. He made that look like it was child's play. I promise it wouldn't look like that if either Dave or I tried it. Right, Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gr that's a green bottle blue. I know that. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yep. I'm always impressed with your handling skills. Have That's, a good one, man. You too. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Three minutes to count down. All right, all right. Here all we right. go. Here we go. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Oh, look, this looks cool. It's a display only. Oh, it's Molly. It's Molly. Hi, Molly. Hello, Molly. Yeah, I'm actually taking Molly out. Right really? Now. That's yeah. what impeccable what? timing. What's your name? My name? Yeah. Natalie. Hi, good to meet you. Hi. Nice Natalie, to meet would you me. mind? Since you, we came at such an opportune time, would you just tell us a little bit about Molly? Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. This is Molly. She is about two and a half years old. I've had her since she was a little baby. And she is one of the snakes that is uh, at our show. So if you guys book a reptile show with us, she is the main attraction. And she's really sweet. What is your uh, show co company called? Um, we're called Reptile Land Entertainment. 
and we're based out of Baldwin Park. How far do you guys travel to for shows? Um, we'll travel about an hour. We don't like to do more than an hour. Though. Okay, so basically within LA County? Yeah, okay. within LA County. That is a gorgeous site. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> Obviously an albino Burmese. Yes, yeah. albino Burmese. Ah, thank you very much. I appreciate You're welcome. it. Go, go. Well, that was pretty good timing right there. I say that's the great thing about uncut videos. Sometimes it's just like perfect, and sometimes it's just like, oh my god, what are we doing? Uh, right, right. That sometimes time was definitely so perfect. That we don't know. All right, but two minutes left. Let's see something. Oh, plants. Plants. Plants are gorgeous. Oh, I love the steam. I love the plant. It's look. It just feels good. Oh, these are gorgeous, dude. Do, do you take care of these? This is not mine. Though. Okay. You take care of these. I do. You've done, a, you've done a great job. I know some of these are not easy to keep looking like that, necessarily. Well, I mean, for somebody that doesn't know plants. Yeah, some people, they just look at them and they die. Yeah, right? Okay, I won't look too hard. Yeah. All right, yeah, those are cool plants. The only plants that I like is with uh, ranch dressing. Oh, look at these chameleons over here. All right, Dave, how much time we got? We got plenty of time, plenty of time. Those chameleons, they're all hiding in boxes. They're all though. hiding in boxes. They're pretty cool though. Look at that. Oh, those are very beautiful. Highlighter chameleons. Let's highlight these highlighter chameleons. You mind if I point a camera at them? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. What, what's the time? What, what's the What's the that clock was, say, Dave? That was, that, was, that was good chameleons. One minute. One minute. Well, I guess, One we should say goodbye minute. before the video just self-destructs. I appreciate you guys coming and checking out the Pomona Reptile Super Show with us today. Um, I know this was a quick video. I literally have not left my booth other than to pee for this last... That is true. You were there, like, the entire time. I know. Like, sitting there, I meeting, had a, meeting your fans. I don't have any clue what you were doing there, but you were there. <laughs> I, was, I was dedicated to my booth this time around. I really wanted to be there when people came by. So uh, that's what it was. I, I was on a mission and I needed to solve it. And I, I wasn't joking. Bomb Projects really helped save the day to get us over on doing this video. And Dave for really just driving a wedge up my butt and saying, dude, pick up your camera. Let's go do this video. So Yes, yes, yes. All right, so uh, that is the end of Brian Cusco Uncut, the videos that prove that he's not Jewish because it is uncut. Thank you. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>